Hello and welcome to the second video on gemination, fusion and concrescence. In this video, I am going to tell you how to differentiate between fusion and gemination. So let's begin with the question of the last video. What do we diagnose this tooth as? So this tooth can be diagnosed as a double tooth. The double tooth is any tooth that is wider than a normal tooth and it is either a result of fusion or of partial gemination. So how do we diagnose whether it is a result of fusion or of partial gemination? So there are a few points which would help us differentiate between fusion and partial gemination and these points include first morphology if the involved teeth appear identical then it is a result of gemination and if the involved teeth don't appear identical or if they appear different or if they appear crooked then it is a result of fusion. Next is pulpal anatomy in case of gemination there is only one root canal and one root whereas in case of fusion there are two root canals and two roots. In case of fusion involving molars the pulp chamber would be one but more than normal number of pulp canals would be seen originating from that common pulp chamber. Next is according to the location. So double teeth in mandible usually are 100% due to the fusion whereas in maxilla they might at times be due to partial gemination. Fusion with a supernumerary tooth is common in both the dentitions and is seen with equal frequency in both maxilla and mandible. Next is the arch spacing. In case of fusion, since the two adjacent teeth fuse together, more space might be seen in the arch, whereas in case of gemination, since a normal tooth splits to form an extra tooth, usually crowding is seen. Next point is the number of teeth. In case of fusion, Less than the normal number of teeth would be present in an arch, whereas in case of gemination, more than the normal number of teeth might be seen in the arch. In case where the fusion is between a normal tooth and a supernumerary tooth, the picture appears similar to that of gemination. And in that case, it becomes difficult to point out whether the case is because of fusion or because of gemination. Now let's see some additional points to remember. Trauma is one of the most common cause of fusion or gemination. Trauma to a deciduous tooth if transferred to the developing apical permanent tooth germs might cause splitting of the permanent tooth germs which results in gemination. Depending on the direction of trauma, it can also force adjacent developing tooth buds together which results in fusion. Fusion and gemination take place during the initiation and morphodifferentiation stage of the tooth development. Double teeth are more common in deciduous as compared to the permanent dentition. In case of deciduous double teeth, the anterior mandible is more commonly involved and incisor canine fusion is more commonly seen. In case of permanent double teeth, the anterior maxilla is more commonly involved and the central incisors are more commonly fused. That's all for now friends. I hope you like this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.